morning everyone i am going to be trying out a cooked vegan recipe this is for mr jess guitarist it's not so much for me um it is a black bean feijoada i don't know how to pronounce this it's a brazil it's supposed to be a brazilian stew this is one of the recipes in the upcoming plant-based bundle um the bundle is going to take place in three days three more days um so i'm giving you a, a sneak peek of what is in the bundle because there's so much in the bundle and i only have 10 days i um so yeah i thought i'll give you a sneak peek first before it launches and um the the bundle is your chance to get 100 plus ebooks and courses on plant-based living um so there's recipes there's fitness there's juices there's smoothies there's um yeah yoga yeah yeah so pretty much something for everyone um there's cooked vegan there's raw vegan there's a uh, whole food plant-based there's some with oil as well so yeah mm, mm. and um if you use my unique link um i will give you four extra bonuses as well um watch till the end and i'll tell you what the extra bonuses are some of it is really cool yeah so okay uh let me just bring you over here so that we can start off yeah okay so it asked for 500 frozen chopped onions yeah so i have the onions here then it asked for five tablespoons frozen or chopped garlic or four teaspoons of garlic powder so i'm going to be using garlic powder and then five teaspoons smoked paprika so i have smoked paprika here 800 grams frozen or one large butternut squash peel and cube so i use the fresh one and then um four cans black beans um i i bought my own black beans so i'm going to use that uh i don't think this is the actual back beans that is meant to be because this is more of like the soybeans but whatever um 200 grams frozen spinach i have this 200 grams it's not frozen spinach and it's sweet potato leaves because that's what i have five bay leaves we have the bay leaves one teaspoon black pepper salt to taste we'll put that in later five tablespoons lime juice uh, i don't have five tablespoons but i have this um and then uh 10 tablespoons fresh chopped coriander i have that we'll put that in later so they serve it with quinoa um so they, it gives you examples um like it tells you how to make the quinoa but i'm not doing that okay so while that's cooking steam fry the onions for six minutes yeah i just realized that this is um oil free which is good i'm just gonna put let my thermal mix um chop the onions I also put it in the coriander, so I have some coriander root as well if you're wondering, yeah, so we'll just, I'm just putting all that in. Okay, let's chop this. water I cook the black beans in actually so I'm gonna put the water yeah and then we will okay so I need to let that cook for six minutes what am I gonna do when I talk for six minutes ah uh... maybe we'll do three minutes and then I'll check to see whether there's still enough water or not because I'm just worried about the water okay I 
became a nutritionist and personal trainer. Gemma became a Polish chef. Yeah. So now they have a YouTube channel and online nutrition course. So it says, don't get me wrong, as a vegan you can make easy meals like steamed broccoli, brown rice, and serve it with chickpeas and hot sauce. I think we suggest the guys will like that. Uh, a little more variety with goes for you, Gemma. Yeah. Okay, so that you talked about the challenges of eating whole food plant based. Um, so yeah, they say it is a little extra effort to plan and figure out what you enjoy. But before you know it, the increase in healthy whole plant foods give you more than enough boost to make you a beast. And this book is packed full of tips to help you eat well. And they have been eating this way since 2012. Wow, I'm gonna win. So yeah, whole food plant based versus vegan. What's the difference? Yeah. They come naturally without anything bad. Oil free living. Oh I like this one. You notice that none of the recipes in this book contain oil. Oil in our view is one of the most harmful products that a vegan could eat. Yeah. Heart disease is the number one killer in the West. Yeah. So it says when it comes to cooking about all you can steam, poach, and boil in the usual ways, but when it comes to sauteing, stir frying, which roasting and baking, you need to adjust your method slightly. So it says choose a non-stick pan, preferably solid or stainless steel. Yeah. And replace oil with a touch of water. Add around 2 tablespoons of water at a time and simply add more when needed to avoid sticking. Make sure you stir frequently and cook over a medium heat. Avoid adding too much water at once and this method will still caramelize your food. Yeah. Okay. Let's just check on this first. I think it's okay. There's enough water. Yeah. I want to make sure there's enough water. Yeah. Just gonna push it down. The thing about this recipe is it's very big. Not very big. There's a lot. And I chose it because I thought like, oh okay, it's gonna be like, you know, we can batch it for many meals but then I don't know whether I can fit everything in or not <laughs> so I might use less yeah okay we'll continue for the okay first dialogue oh okay yeah batch cooking oh okay Alright. Oh, 
the HK pond, the next table is the table recipes that work well together. Nice. Ah, okay. Oh, right. I wonder whether this particular recipe goes well down here. No. And they also did use cooking and storage times. Oh, that's quite good. Ah, checking chronometer to check if you're getting all the nutrients. A lot of you ask that. So these are the recipes. So breakfast, there's chia pudding, walnut, and yeah. Here on this one. There's chia pudding. And then there's the baked oatmeal. And there's overnight oats. Sweet potato toast. Green. Did they make this green and this green? I think I was thinking about making it. I didn't make it. And then there's lunch and dinner. Yeah. Okay. So, there you go. Eat some of it. And then there's soy and sauces as well. Okay. Let's see what else I need to do now. Okay, add the garlic and paprika and cook for a further one minute. Alright, so garlic is oh is this a new one hold on So 4 teaspoons garlic powder. I just realized that this is a new container. Sorry, so I got to open it. Okay, we're done with garlic, and then we need to put 5 teaspoons of smoked paprika. One. Two. Eh. Three. Five. 
Okay, so one minute. Okay. Mm, then we uh, just now we were at desserts, right? Huh. So there is chocolate pecan granola bar, super CD energy bites, beet root hummus with crudite, salt and vinegar popcorn. Ah, huh. in this house we like to eat like Jimmy's with no snacking. Yeah. know about Ooh. It's so what do they use for the whole green crackers? Oh okay. Alright. Okay. So I'll put in the rest. Supposed to put in the bay leaves. And let me put in the uh black pepper. Let me put in the black pepper first. Black pepper is one teaspoon. I'll put in the salt later at the end. Do they have so much butternut squash? I'm going to be able to put in. I don't think I can put all of it in because we still have beans and we still have the um, ah. we also have the veggie as well. I think I'll put in the veggie much later. I think I'm putting in the veggie halfway. Oh, I better put in the water first. If not, it'll be too much and then I can't put it all in. Uh, 330... Okay, let's just weigh it. Okay. Who did it ask to put, huh? Squash, black beans, spinach, bay leaves, black pepper, salt, and white water. Oh, okay. Maybe I'll make tempeh with the beans instead. I don't know. I think I'll leave this because they thought I'll put in the, the veggies as well. Yeah. Okay, I'll call it 
cook this. Let me cook this for like three minutes first. And then we'll put in the four minutes. Okay, four minutes. check out the links well I think I need to go and get um a bowl to put this Graphic designer, my friend who lived at this book. My sister, thank you for purchasing this book. If you send me a book, I'm grateful. Alright, then. Yeah. Okay. Alright. Uh, let's look at the bundle. This is a. Yeah, so this is where you get 100 plus ebooks, courses, and programs. Um, let me see. Hey, it says it's over. Hmm. There's something for everyone healthy recipes, self wellness, workouts and mobility, chooses for the recipes. So it's a 99% discount. If you buy it separately, it's $3,730. But with the bundle that is happening in three days on Saturday, 23rd of November 2024, you only need to pay $50. US Yeah, so these are some of the ebooks and courses. A live lunch I've made recipes from here. Make it raw volume two. Um, yesterday I made the Pineapple, unfried rice, there's vegan punks Christmas, there's the ultimate tofu cookbook part one. I've made recipes from here. Ultimate tofu cookbook part two. I'm gonna try and make recipes from here. Jillian Berry has 30 dressing sauces and dips. I eat more plants. There's also a um, holiday menu. There's volume one, volume two, and volume three, raw vegan, oil free. There's also a four-week vegan meal plan. I need something from here. There's the easy vegan dressing and sauces. I hope to make something from here. Ah, there's a six-week shredded apps, which I'm not going to uh, complete diet to shred. There's also a don't worry, eat happy. This is interesting because this is um um yeah, some actors. Anais, Christine and Elaine. Yeah. And then there's Tales from the Tailgate. I like that a lot. Tales from the Tailgate. Yeah, I've made loads of recipes from there. There are wraps and ebooks. Vegan Crush, Maricel. Yeah, I hope to be able to interview her um, Yeah, during the month of the week. And that's me. Beautiful vegan food. I have three courses. Yeah. Christmas Show Stoppers. And also my Korean barbecue party. Okay, let's just check this. So after three minutes, and then I don't know whether the is the butternut squash going to be cooked in seven minutes. I don't think so. Unless it's supposed to be cooked earlier, I don't know. Oh well. 
Okay, we'll put some of these in. Yeah, I don't know how much we can put in. Yeah, this thermal mix can't cook that much. I should put in more of the stems though. I should put in the stems earlier. Okay, I just now need to go and get some tissue. I will be back. The black pepper was making me, um, yeah. So I did four minutes just now, so I need another three. We need to make it. It's a four week vegan meal plan. There's raw vegan tacos. That's pretty cool. It's a not vegan vegan Oh, this is a uh, ice cream. This one's good. Raw vegan ice cream. I like this ebook as well, good food. I like this as well, inside school. I made a lot of recipes from there. I made one recipe from here, I made two recipes from here. Oh, yes, it's Kitchen Essentials course as well, which is pretty good. I feel like something sweet, high protein. Yeah, I made something from here, breakfast open at ebook, you can go check it out. Um, I also made something from here as well. The great vegan in a cookbook. I haven't read this yet, I should. <laughs> like the vegan. Plant based made easy. I think I made something from that, have I? Raw classics, I've tried out her recipes before. And raw flavors, I made her recipes as well. Okay. Let's see how we're doing here. I don't think the. Um... Ah, it does look like a stew. I. Yeah, I don't know how the this let's check and see. I mean 
I'm not very good with cooked stuff. Ah, it's kind of cooked. Okay, let's cook this out and give it a taste test. Oh, it's spicy because of the paprika. Oh yeah, because I got hot paprika. The smoked paprika was hot. Okay. Oh! I didn't like... um. I need to scoop it out. But I still want to cook a bit of the other bits, I think. Not sure. Right there. Ah, there you go. I still feel like this needs to be cooked long though. Not sure, but it can be eaten. It's a bit too spicy. I shouldn't have gotten like the super hot paprika. I mean, it's very spicy for me, but I wonder how Mr. Jess would die with it. You know, I actually have some um, mushrooms. So I think I might pop some mushroom skin as well for him. Yeah. Yeah, I think the butternut squash still needs a bit of cooking. So I'll cook it down a bit more. Then only I'll put in I'll put in the lime. And then I'll put in the coriander. Yeah. I'll see. Um I might do a part two. I'm not sure. We'll see. Depends on my mood. It's okay. I kind of looked at it and I was like, oh, it kind of looks simple, so might not like be super flavorsome. But yeah, with the with the onion, it makes the stew kind of sweet. I think what I'm going to do is, I have some celery. And I also have, um, I have some celery and I have, I have some celery and I have some mushrooms, so I'm going to add that in as well. Yeah. All right. So I'm going to give out four extra bonuses. Um, I have put together a guide to vegan restaurants in Japan. I also have created and developed a course on uh, how to make raw vegan Vietnamese banh mi sandwiches. So you get that whole course as well so there's videos and there's a recipe booklet as well and then um, I've also put together 70 videos uh, 70 video tutor tutorials on how to make um, the recipes in the bundle and then I also do a live zoom group call as well in the future so um, I'll give you those four extra bonuses if you get the bundle using my unique link because I only get paid um, if you use my link. Um, if you want to support Henge Herbivore, then you can use their link to get it because it works as an affiliate link. So the commission goes to, um, yeah, the, the person whom you use their link to buy the bundle from. Does that make sense? Yeah. So that's basically it. Um, if you have any questions, comment below and I'll answer you. Not, um, I might see you in part two if there is a part two. If not, um, yeah, um, scoop it out and, and serve it. Actually, let it cool down and, and batch prep it. So what I've done is I added some... I added... Some... Celery. 
And then I add some corn, so I added some corn as well. Oh! Sorry, I forgot. I was supposed to add in the, um, the lemon juice. The lime juice. Not the lemon juice. The lime juice. And then, yeah, just now when I did the taste test, I forgot to put in the coriander as well. So, let's taste this with the lime juice and the corn and mm. yeah and I cooked it down much longer yeah mm. okay I like it now. I'm always like, um, I always don't know whether I want to add in salt or not. Because I actually, yeah, I think no. I actually quite like the taste now, so. So I don't think this looks anything like the Brazil stew because the Brazil stew is um, meat and black beans and then I mean I would use like um, I would use mushrooms you know to replace the meat but there's no mushrooms here I am planning to add in some mushrooms actually yeah and um uh, Let's put in some coriander. Yeah! And there you go. That is your um, stew. Vegan stew based on a Brazilian stew. Um, click the link in my bio to check out the uh, palm based bundle. Alright, thank you so much for watching. See you guys another time. Let me know if there's anything in the bundle that you'd like to see me make. Alright.